this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Monday, June the 20th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to say thank you to my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. It helps my channel, uh, helps the algorithm, and gets my videos recommended to different people. So if you enjoy my video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks very much. How are you doing today, Libra? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Libra out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Libra. Spirit. Bottom of the deck, the world. End of a cycle. Might, might, might have been a karmic cycle. Not sure yet. End of a cycle. The world. I never say that, do I? It is the world. First card out. And the high priestess. The high priestess. Looks like you might have figured somebody out. Or you found out something about someone. The high priestess. This is my witchy card. The high priestess. She is here. She is sitting in her throne. Sitting in her power. Knows her worth. She's got some kind of animal over there. Um, She's got book she got candles she's got a scepter um in some decks she has tarot cards a crystal ball she kind of witchy she's empathic she's intuitive she knows how to figure people out you might have found it out you might have found the truth out about someone what is crossing this the temperance sagittarius energy the temperance as you can see, she is pouring liquid from one cup into another cup. She's got a red flower in her long black hair. She's wearing a dress with black, green, and red. And she's got her Harry Potter nightmare or uh, invisibility cloak here. The sign mode divine timing, being patient, trusting that source spirit universe will give you what you need at its proper time. Consciously known. The Six of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. See, she's carrying all these cups around. This talks about friendship, puppy love, nostalgia. Thinking back to a time when things have, may have been better or sweeter. Just make sure you're not looking at the past through rose-colored glasses. Unconscious. Ten Cups! Ten Cups! Ultimate Abundance in Love. Cups are water energy, counts Pisces Scorpio, cups are blue in this deck, got blue flowers at the top and the bottom, a blue butterfly. This is ultimate abundance and love. This is the love shack, the property, the happy family, a couple, children if you want, pets if you want, ultimate abundance and love. Recent past. The Page of Cups. Cups are water energy. Can't Pisces Scorpio. Cups are talking about love. Pages are messengers. This is a, a love message, a romantic message. Cups are blue in this deck. And blue flowers, a blue background, blue printed headdress, blue dress. She's got her cup, heart shaped eyes and nose, her face, heart shaped eyes and nose. And then she's got her Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Skull Spoon. This is a romantic message. Near future. The moon. The moon. This is Pisces energy. This is talking about secrets, deceptions, masks being worn, and the truth coming to the surface. She is looking into a body of water. We can see the moon reflected. We can see her face reflected. This is secrets, deceptions, and this is figuring the figuring things out. Pisces energy. 
Where do you find yourself? Ten of Swords. Ten Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ten Swords like being stabbed in the back ten, ten times. Um, swords are yellow in the stack. We've got yellow flowers. Top and bottom. Yellow skulls right here. It looks like there's a town. Oh, this is the end of a very painful cycle. But it is the end of that cycle. This may have been very painful, but things are only going to get better from here on in. The worst is over. Things are getting better. Ten of Swords. External influences. The Queen of Wands, Queen of Fire, Queen of Passion. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands are all about passion. Wands are red in this deck. Red flowers, red sombrero, red shirt. She's also got a candle that's lit, and she's got uh, gold hoop earrings. She is good-looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting. Queen of Wands, Queen of Passion, Queen of Fire. Hopes and or fears. The Magician, the Great Manifester, the Magician. What are you manifesting? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. We've got a hand here with an eye. There's a wand with a W at the top. There's a pitcher. There's a sword. He's got a sombrero full of candles, potions, earth plants, a chalice, bells, crystal ball, wand. The magician, the great manifester. You can manifest cups for love, pentacles for money, Swords for communication, wands for passion. What are you manifesting? I like that magician energy. And overall outcome. The star, my favorite card, Aquarius energy. The star, this is the angel card, this is the wish card. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Aquarius energy. There's that beautiful star. There's the headdress, there's the poncho, pardon the land, pardon not. She got these big, um, they look like feather, white feather earrings. So we got the great manifester and the wish card. What are you trying to, what are you manifesting? What are you wishing for? Bottom of the deck, the world, the world. This is the end of a cycle. You can see this person is sitting on the world. We have an hourglass there. The Reaper is dressed in white, long black hair. She got a scythe. We got yellow cups or yellow swords for communication, sorry. Red wands for passion. A blue green cups for love. And green pentacles for money. End of a cycle. Two pentacles. Two pentacles. This is wishy washy behavior. Libra, wishy-washy, you know how we are, it's hard to make a decision, you need to stop being wishy-washy and make a decision, two of pentacles, pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we got green in the background, stop being wishy-washy, make a decision, ouch, oh my goodness, well, looks like this. This is my narcissist card. I don't know why this card comes out so much. Seven of Swords. This is my narcissist card. I mean, true on narcissist, as in the DM DSM five. I don't mean a jerk that lies and cheats and steals. I mean a, a true narcissist. Um, usually narcissists they 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 don't know what they are they think they're helpful they're not they're all about themselves swords are air energy gemini libra aquarius swords are yellow in this deck got a yellow casket he needs to go back in casket the narcissist uh, this person is a liar cheater thief male or female male or female don't think that it's only men um they have addictions alcohol drugs Gambling sex. This person is probably a walking STD. He, he, he or she is a narcissist. Um, if you are dealing with a narcissist, get out, stay out. 
drop this person. This, that's maybe why this was a karmic cycle. We had end of a very painful cycle. Figuring people out. Secrets, deceptions. Yeah, looks like it was a karmic cycle. And but we got Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are love. Ace of Cups, new love. Um, you could see it looks like there's water falling from the sky. There's water on the ground back here. Heart-shaped eyes and nose on the cup. And there is a dragonfly. This is talking about new love, new love, new love. A cop between a rock and a hard place. The hangman. Um, this talks about meditation, spirituality, being caught between a rock and a hard place, dark night of the soul, and sometimes we need to look at things from a whole new perspective in order to figure them out. Um, I'm going to call BS on you. Uh, being wishy-washy, being caught between a rock and a hard place, no. You cut this narcissist out of your life, they are not. Um, probably dealing with a lot of pity plays. Oh, um, can you lend me fifty dollars? I need a ride to the store. Can you get me groceries? Will you do my laundry? Um, if if you don't help me, then then who will? That's kind of narcissist energy I'm talking about right here. <laughs> So it looks like this was a pain. This was a karmic cycle. So the high priestess, I feel like you figured this person's BS out. Divine timing, abundance and love. That's not this person. Romantic message, end of a very painful cycle. Queen of passion. The Magician, the Star, what are you manifesting, what are you wishing for, end of a cycle, I'm saying this is karmic, man, but we have new love, new love here, don't look at the past through rose colored glasses, there, there were secrets, deceptions, masks being worn, I don't know why you're being wishy-washy with this person, they had you going back and forth, I think. This person was a narcissist, liar, cheater, thief, addict, alcohol, drugs, gambling, sex. And so I hope that you just cut this person out of your life. Look at this per look at this. We got fog here, it's storming, things are flying, or like le uh, leaves and things. Person has literally detached from its body. <sighs> Cut this narcissist out of your life because I see love. Oh, the end of a very painful cycle. Oracle cards. Breathe, breathe. Um, you're gonna have to take a minute. You're gonna have to take a minute. It's gonna take you, uh, months to um get away from this person's control but once you know they're a narcissist you need to go and work on your healing throw, throw them out or if you have to go you have to go mending mending working on healing yourself Working on healing yourself. Oh, here. Miss Breathe. She looks like she's in a yoga position, relaxing. Mending. They're fixing something. You need to work on mending yourself. And loyal heart. You have love to give. You're very loyal. And you don't need this narcissist in your life. I know. Believe me. I've been there. We got our two owls with crowns on. Loyal heart. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Mm. 
Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Divine timing. Sagittarius energy. And bottom of the deck. Love yourself first. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's like Nine of Cups energy. Single because I know I deserve someone just as fantastic as I am. And I'm willing to wait for that person. The Wheel of Fortune. The wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. This is talking about success. I like it. Success. Move forward. Success is coming in. Ooh, and the fool. Aries energy. You see him. He's got his walking stick. He's off. This is taking a leap of faith. Starting a brand new beautiful journey. We had the world over here, which is the end of a cycle. I'm saying karmic now. End the fool. The next card. Starting a brand new beautiful journey. Don't look at their past through rose-colored glasses. There were secrets, deceptions, masks being worn. And you found out with the high priestess, this was a very, very painful cycle. But it's going to get better. Don't be wishy-washy. Don't be wishy-washy. Cut this narcissist out of your life. You don't need to be caught between a rock and a hard place. Make a decision. Cut them out. The High Priestess, you figure this person's crap out. Divine Timing, Abundance and Love, a Romantic Message, End of a Very Painful Cycle, but Moving Forward to a New Cycle. Queen of, Queen of Passion, What Are You Manifesting? What Are You Wishing For? End of a Karmic Cycle, New Love, Breathe, Mending, Loyal heart. I know you have an old loyal heart, but you don't have to be loyal to this person. Flirt. Let go of control issues. Love yourself first. The Wheel of Fortune. Success, success. And uh, the Fool. The start of a brand new beautiful journey. So yes, you got to cut this narcissist out. Because there's abundance in love and there's new love to be coming in. This was a karmic cycle. You deserve way better. All right. And abundance and love. The high priestess figuring out other people's crap. Have a great rest of your day, Libra. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. Bye for now.